good idea if you're a beginner at paint pouring is to gather all your supplies so you have them all in in one area and at hand so before I started my pour I gathered um, my paint colors for the marble which are cotton white Baja gray and gold metallic for a little sparkle and then to get the flow the paint needs for this finish I mix it with flow trawl and for a beginner's paint pour, this cannot be easier. Floetrol is phenomenal. It's generally used to give paint a longer open time to eliminate brush and roller marks, but it works amazing for paint pouring as well. So along with the above, I also made sure to cover and protect my work surface. I do wear gloves for this process to protect my hands because it is really messy. And I also had plastic cups and stir sticks on hand as well. As I mentioned, paint pouring is pretty messy, and if you have something to hold on to your project with, it makes things a whole lot easier. I didn't want to hold on to the sides of these coasters because then my fingerprints would kind of ruin the pour, so I made a makeshift handle out of paper straws and duct tape. Now, duct tape works for everything. <laughs> Isn't duct tape amazing? Uh, all I did was I bent the straw and then duct taped it on to the back and it gave me a little handle to hold on to the coaster. So now for mixing the paints. Uh, and to get a really nice flow, I like mixing a 50-50 mix of paint to flow trawl. And I do this in separate cups. So you at first you want to keep all your paint colors totally separate and as I mentioned flow trawl is an amazing pouring medium and it's very cost effective like I think this bottle was around ten dollars and I've had this bottle for years I've done a good few paint pours with it and it's lasted me for a long time so I just eyeballed my one-to-one -one ratio uh, but you could measure if you feel more comfortable. For instance, if you, uh, the 50-50 ratio, you would add a quarter cup of white paint to a quarter cup of Floetrol or a quarter cup of gray paint to a quarter cup of Floetrol. You just want to keep it an even, even mix. And the reason for this is because you want the consistency of your paint to still have body to it, but you want it to kind of glide over your project like say warmed honey so you still want it to have some body but you want to make sure that it flows really nice and easily which i'll demonstrate in just a moment so now for the fun part or at least here's where it gets a little more exciting i grabbed a new container and started layering the paints to create a design and i added some white paint which was my base my base color then I dribbled in some gold and gray paint and I just did the dribble off my paint stick off my stir stick which worked perfectly if you want a color to be more prominent in my case it's the white that's what you're going to use more of so after I dribbled in the gray and the gold I even dribbled in a little more white on top Here's where it gets so creative and interesting. Once I layered my paint, I poured it out onto a coaster. And here you can see as I'm pouring out, the consistency of my paint is not too thick and it's not too thin. It's kind of the consistency of say a warmed up honey. It still has a lot of body to it, but yet it has a lot of super fluid movement to it. And check out how the design changes and moves as you move your project. So you pour it on, then you move it from left to right and just let that paint glide over your project and do its thing. You can control it to a very small extent because the paint is going to make its own design. Now, if you want the design to go, uh, you know, more to the right or left on your project, you can certainly 
uh, tilt your project in that direction. But as I mentioned, it is really going to do its own thing. And I just love this aspect of a paint pour. It's so much fun to see what comes out of these designs and what the paint will do. I went ahead and repeated the exact same process for the other three coasters and the coaster holder. Even though this is a messy project, I love doing it. I love seeing how these designs come out. Yeah. 